Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program must accept the integer n, k and the n integers as the input and the program must form a string s of length k with zeros and after that for each integer x among the n integers the program must toggle the string s from the x character and after toggling, the program must print the decimal equivalent of yes. So we'll take our first test case. So in this test case, we have k is equal to 6 and uh, the string yes. First, we'll have six zeros. And now, first we have 2, so we'll toggle from the second position. So, our first toggling will be like 0 and now 1, 1, 1, 1. So, this will be the toggle for 2 and after this we have 1 so we'll toggle from the first position itself so 1 0 0 0 0 0 and after this we have 3 so we'll toggle from the third position so we have 1 0 in the first two positions and from th the third position we toggle and we get ones and then we have one so we'll toggle from the first position itself so this is zero 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 so here it is one zero 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 and for four 0 1 0 1 1 1 so this represents the decimal equivalent uh, as 11 so which will be our output now we'll take our another test case so here the k is Here the k is 7 and the string yes first will have 7 zeros and then we have 3 so we will toggle from the third position so it is 1 1 1 1 And then we have 4. So we'll toggle from the 4th position. So it is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then we have 5. It is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. And then we have 1. So we'll toggle from the first position itself. So it is one one zero one zero zero zero, and then we have seven. So we'll toggle only the last character. And then we have two. So we'll toggle 
from the second position and this represents the decimal equivalent that is 86 which will be our output now let us implement our program first we'll get our input n and k and then after that we'll get the indices that is our n integers as a list and then we'll have the binary string as zeros into k that is initially we'll have this that is if we have k value as uh, as something like two means then we'll have two zeros as our initial value so binary string is 0 into k and after that we have to iterate over the index in the indices so so we'll iterate from the index to the binary string and after that we'll have to toggle respectively so for that we have for the bit index in range index minus 1 so index starts from 0 so we'll have index minus 1 and then we have up to k so now we'll give our condition that is if the binary string of the bit index is equal to equal to 0 means then we have to change the binary string of bit index as 1 and in the else part we'll have the binary string of the bit index as 0 and now finally we have to print the decimal equivalent so for that we have dot join first we'll join them that is the binary strings so we'll convert them into int and we have comma 2 so now let us run our program and pass our first test case so we have got 11 as the output which is correct now we'll pass our second test case so here we have got 86 as our output which is also correct our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.